Hello everybody and welcome back to Perfect English with me, Alex. Hope you're all okay. It's one week until Christmas, so I thought I would do a video on Christmas expressions and Christmas idioms. I hope you enjoy this video. In England, we love celebrating Christmas. It's a massive part of our culture. Most families in England celebrate Christmas. So we have a lot of rituals and activities and just things that we do in and around the Christmas time. And a lot of these expressions and idioms link to that. So I'm going to go through some Christmas idioms and expressions. Let's get into it. So the first expression I want to go through, the more the merrier. Now, those of you who know the word merry will know that it means happy. So the more the merrier, the more the happier. It means the more people that come to an activity or an event, the more people that are there, the better it's going to be and the happier or merrier everybody is going to be. For example, whenever my family has a party, if I want to bring someone extra, I might ask my family and they will say, yeah, sure, no problem, bring whoever you want. The more, the merrier. The more people there, the better it's going to be. Next up, deck the halls. In England, it's very popular for all of the families to decorate their house. We have Christmas trees, lights, big Santas, different decorations in and around the house. We call this decking the halls. So when we put up our decorations, our Christmas tree, our lights, etc., we say we are decking the halls. Traditionally, we put up the decorations and the Christmas tree during the first weekend in December. So that is the time when everybody decks the halls. I'm so excited for the weekend. I'm finally going to deck the halls. And we have, tis the season to be jolly. Tis, this is a word from Old English. It means it is. We don't really use it in conversation anymore, but in this particular expression, we use it. Tis the season to be jolly. Again, like with merry, jolly means happy. It's the season to be happy. It means it's the best time of the year. Everybody is excited. Everybody is having fun. It's the season to be happy. Because at Christmas, everybody is enjoying themselves. Everybody is doing activities. Everybody is doing things with their family. There are lots of parties. Everybody is just in a good mood. It's the season to be jolly. And next up, meet me under the mistletoe. Mistletoe is a flower with poisonous berries that has been involved in English Christmas and English culture since the 16th century, a very long time. And houses are traditionally decorated with mistletoe. It hangs from the ceiling. And the expression, meet me under the mistletoe, links to a tradition that we have in England if you and your partner or your loved one are talking under mistletoe, you have to kiss each other. It's a very, very nice tradition. So whenever you are under mistletoe with a loved one, you have to give them a kiss. Next up, we have Christmas comes but once a year. Now, this is quite an old expression. It's old English. Nowadays, we generally say it's only Christmas once a year. This is a saying I like to use a lot. It's basically an excuse to eat, drink and spend and just do everything you want to do. Eat too much, drink too much, spend too much. I don't care if I've had 500 chocolates already. Christmas only comes once a year. And the last one, this one is a bit of a laugh. It's quite a funny expression, bar humbug. This comes from a novel written by Charles Dickens in 1843 called A Christmas Carol. It's very famous, maybe you've heard of it. The main character in the book, Mr. Scrooge, hates Christmas. And whenever he sees children enjoying themselves or people enjoying themselves, he says to himself, 
Bah humbug. So nowadays this expression is used to describe somebody who doesn't like Christmas. I mean, who doesn't like Christmas? But some people do. My dad really doesn't like Christmas. He's so bar humbug. We can also describe someone as a Scrooge named from the character. Oh, my dad hates Christmas. He's such a Scrooge. There you have some British Christmas idioms and expressions. I hope you enjoyed them all. If you did, please drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified of a new video every single week. Also, check out in the description my link to Audible. You can listen to English books. With my link, you get a 30-day free trial. So head down to the description and click on my Audible link. Also, head over to Instagram and Facebook and find me at Perfect English Alex. Head over to there to see daily content about English language, culture, people, idioms. I post so many things every single day. So head over there at Perfect English Alex. And I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who's subscribed to my channel, liked any of my videos, and especially to the people who've hung around till the end. I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm not going to do a video next week because it's Christmas, but I will be back in the New Year. So Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in 2020.